now we move to find out your first part that is ratio of ps by ph now we know that the power formula is given as 2 pi nt by 60 so ps will be 2 pi ns into ts by 60 this whole upon 2 pi nh into th upon 60 so we see that 2 pi and 60 terms gets cancelled from numerator and denominator now since your ns is equal to nh which is given so ns and nh will also get cancelled so we have ps by ph is equal to ts by th now we know the torsional formula which is given as tm by j is equal to tau m by r so your value of tm can be taken as j by r into tm so upon substituting the value of t for a solid and hollow shaft we can write ps by ph is equal to j into tau m by small r which is the torque transmitted by the solid shaft the whole upon j into tau m upon capital r which is the torque transmitted by the hollow shaft now since it is also given that your maximum shear stress in solid shaft is to be same as that of maximum shear stress in hollow shaft so we'll get this term and this term gets cancelled so your ps by ph can be given as j of s upon j of h into capital r by small r upon substituting the formula for j we have ps by ph is equal to pi by 32 into d1 to the power 4 which is 200 into d1 to the power 4 upon gh is given as pi by 32 into capital d to the power 4 minus small d to the power 4 and capital r is capital d by 2 and small r is small d1 by 2 so now upon substituting the values of diameters so we have d1 to the power 4 is 200 to the power 4 upon capital d to the power 4 is 250 to the power 4 minus small d is 150 to the power 4 multiplied by capital d by 2 is 250 by 2 and small d1 by 2 is 200 by 2 so upon solving this we get the value of ratio of power transmitted by solid shaft to the hollow shaft as 0.588 so this is your first answer now we see that for a given cross-sectional area of solid and hollow shaft and for given length and maximum shear stress and speed the power transmitted by solid shaft is 0.588 times of power transmitted by hollow shaft so hollow shaft transmits more power than the solid shaft now next we find out the ratio of angle of twist of solid shaft and hollow shaft now we know the torsional formula is also given as tau m by r is equal to g theta by l so we can write the formula of theta as tau m into l upon r into g so substituting the value of theta as this we have theta s by theta h is equal to tau m into l upon r into capital g of solid shaft this whole upon tau m into l upon capital r into g of hollow shaft now since it is given that the length of solid and hollow shaft is same this gets cancelled also the material of the solid and hollow shaft is same so the material property g is same and gets cancelled also we have this given data that maximum shear stress of solid and hollow shaft is same tau m for solid shaft is same as that of that for hollow shaft so your tau m of s and tau m of h also gets cancelled so finally we get the ratio of angle of twist for solid shaft and hollow shaft equal to capital r by small r now on substituting the values of this we get capital r is 250 by 2 and small r is 200 by 2 so on solving we get we get this value as 1.25 now this is your answer number 2 now we see that for the same power transmission and same maximum shear stress the angle of twist in solid shaft is 1.25 times the angle of twist of hollow shaft this means that the solid shaft twist more than that of hollow shaft so again a hollow shaft is beneficial with respect to the rigidity of the shaft thanks for watching in 5 minutes